Does Intel intend to use ASML's high and AEUV lithography machines? Intel Corporation has received important components of ASML's newest chip-making machine, according to the company's announcement. The cutting-edge system, which is known as High and A Extreme Ultraviolet, was transported to the D1X factory in Oregon. However, representatives from both Intel and ASML did not comment on the final destination of the system. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. The complexity of the computers that run our lives has increased, necessitating the development of processors that are more powerful than ever before. During the past 10 years, the EUV lithography equipment that is manufactured by ASML has been considered the gold standard for the fabrication of chips. These technologies have made it possible for companies such as IBM and others to reduce the size of transistors to only a few nanometers, which is tens of thousands of times thinner than a single strand of hair. Using these devices, IBM has demonstrated a method for the construction of chips ranging from 7 nanometers down to our most recent advancements using nanosheet technology at 2 nanometers. A single device that is about the size of a fingernail may contain an astounding 50 billion transistors thanks to the nanosheet technology that operates at a 2 nanometers layer. Since the 1940s, laser-based lithography has been an indispensable tool for the design and production of chips on a large scale. It is not possible for existing EUV machines to achieve the resolution required for sub-2 nanometers nodes to be patterned onto chips in a manner that would be suitable for mass production. This is despite the fact that these machines have been instrumental in the advancement of semiconductor processes over the past decade. The machines are capable of achieving such precision, which is how IBM was able to construct the first operational 2 nanometers node. However, in order to achieve this level of precision, it requires three or four exposures to the EUV light rather than just one exposure. All of these factors, in addition to the additional problems that are linked with decreasing feature sizes, meant that researchers needed to think about a new approach. In order to solve this problem, a technique known as High Numerical Aperture EUV Lithography, or High na is utilized. In terms of its physical technique, this new method is functionally identical to EUV lithography. However, as the name suggests, the optics are larger and are able to support higher resolution patterns than are printed on the wafer. Increasing the numerical aperture will result in a sharper focus, but it will also result in a shorter depth of focus. If you have ever used a professional camera, you are aware of this fact. When it comes to high NAEUV lithography, the case is the same. Considering that both ASML and Intel are among the most prominent in the semiconductor industry, the technology is of tremendous relevance to both of them. In an effort to demonstrate his dedication to regaining a position of leadership in the field of manufacturing technology, Pat Gelsinger, the chief executive officer of Intel, made a pledge that his business would be the first to experience this new sort of machine. ASML, for its part, is implementing the new method with the intention of maintaining the chip industry's reliance on its equipment. According to a statement released by ASML in the previous year, Intel intends to start production with the system in 2025. D1X is a facility that is responsible for the development and improvement of future production procedures for Intel. The company ASML is the most successful manufacturer of lithography systems in the world. These are machines that carry out an essential phase in the process of producing semiconductors. It is the sole company that manufactures equipment that uses extreme ultraviolet lithography, which is utilized by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Samsung Electronics Company, and Intel for its most sophisticated fabrication capabilities. According to a statement that ASML made that, we are excited and proud to ship our first high NAEUV system to Intel. The statement was published on the social media platform X. In a note, Auto BH analysts predicted that the Twinskin EXE 5200, the first model of ASML's high and A extreme ultraviolet lithography equipment, would cost about $275 million. The analyst stated that the second version of the high and A EUV machine, which will be referred to as EXD 5200B, will have a higher productivity and a price tag that is greater than $375 million. This information was provided following a meeting with the firm. As of right now, ASML's most advanced machines are priced at approximately $180 million. The semiconductor industry prepared everything necessary for the fabrication of chips using extreme ultraviolet lithography, which took more than 10 years to complete. It would appear at the following level, which is EUV with high NA, will be reached in a significantly shorter amount of time. 
These days, the most cutting-edge semiconductors are manufactured on a 5 fourths nanometers class process utilizing EUV lithography. ASML's Twinskin Annex E3400C and other similar systems are used to manufacture these devices. These systems include 0.33 nanometer NA optics, which allow for a resolution of 13 nanometers. At 7 nanometers, 6 nanometers nodes with 36 nanometers to 38 nanometers pitches, this resolution is sufficient for a single pattern approach. Similarly, at 5 nanometers with 30 nanometers to 32 nanometers pitches, this resolution yields satisfactory results. However, when pitches get smaller than 30 nanometers at nodes that are more than 5 nanometers, the 13 nanometer resolution may require dual lithographic exposure, which is going to be utilized for many years to come. The chief executive officer of ASML, Peter Wenink, admitted that there were some slight delays in the assembly process. These delays were a result of some people's struggles to increase output and meet the required technological quality. In spite of this, he reaffirmed that the initial shipment is still planned to take place this year. At the moment, the Twinskin NX E3400C and NX E3400D, which are equipped with 0.33 NA lenses and give a resolution of 13 nanometers, are the most modern EUV scanners that ASML has in its various fabrication facilities facilities. The manufacturing process can be carried out with metal pitches ranging from 30 nanometers to 38 nanometers when using this resolution successfully. However, if chip pitches continue to shrink beyond 5 nanometers, a resolution of 13 nanometers becomes insufficient. This necessitates the utilization of EUV double patterning and or pattern shaping methods in order to meet the requirements. The industry is concentrating its efforts on the development of high NA EUV scanners with a 0.55 NA, with the objective of achieving an 8 nanometers resolution for manufacturing technologies by the later half of the decade. This is being done in order to address the issue. In the beginning, Intel intended to make use of ASNL's high and A equipment for its 18A, 1.8 nanometers production node. This node was projected to undergo high volume manufacture in 2025, which coincided with the anticipated release of the Twinskin EXD 5200. Nevertheless, Intel eventually revised its plans and moved the beginning of its 18A production to the latter half of 2024. This was done in order to accommodate the new schedule. Because of this, it is expected that Intel will use the Twinskin Annex E3600D and 3800E scanners from ASML, which have two exposures, along with the Endura Sculpta pattern shaping system from Applied Material to cut down on the need for EUV double patterning. According to reports, Intel is the first customer to acquire ASML's Pilot High and A scanner. This will enable the company's developers and engineers to fit Intel's process technologies into the production tools that are planned to be released in the near future. It is anticipated that both Samsung Foundry and TSMC will begin chip manufacturing on their respective 2 nanometers class nodes, SF2 and 2, by the latter half of the year 2025. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below, and you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.